hey devs welcome to web style press if you are new to this channel i invite you to subscribe and join us hit subscribe button and click bell icon center middle content of column and stretched flex box i hope i made the title of this video clear it's not about vertically centering the flex box column it's about centering the content inside flexbox column while the flexbox is stretched from stretched flexbox i mean flexbox takes 100% available height and columns take 100% height in other words we are centering content of flexbox column we are not centering column itself columns are stretched and are taking 100% available height and by centering i mean vertically middle alignment let me explain it further when you use align item center for flex box raw it makes flex box columns vertically middle aligned now columns are not taking 100% height but necessary height that depends on content inside column we want a flex box that has columns with equal height and then we want columns that have their content vertically middle aligned this technique is very important because client likes to see columns of equal height does not matter whether there is a lot of content inside any column or there is less content in any column so here i have got this html page i have linked a custom.css file to this index.html page and this is our css file and i am using sas and this is this will be the output for our page so let's create the flexbox html first and here i have got a div and i am using a class container and inside the container i will use flex raw and inside flex raw there will be two columns flex call and this is flex call and inside this column there will be the div and uh, i will use or i can use paragraph this is our paragraph and uh, inside the second column i just want to use some text so this is one column and this is other this is first column and this is our flex raw and let's style this now so first of all i want to apply some styling to the container and i want max width to be 600 px and i want margin zero auto i want it to be centered aligned and then we have got flex raw and we have got flex column so for flex call let's let's give this raw a border border will be 1px solid and this color and then for flex i want to give it a background color of this one and it is not flex yet i can see this thing let's turn it to flex box to turn it into flex box we will use display flex and now this will be a flex so this is column one and this is column two i want to
make these like this so 50% this column and 50% this column and now let's give it padding of 10 pixels and margin 2 pixels and uh, this is a little bit more clear now that we have got one flex row and two columns inside it so we want to center this uh, text as well vertically so let's do that we will use align items center and justify content also center so as you can see the second column has been vertically centered or in the middle but we want this column to take the 100 percent height we want same height for these two columns so for that we will need to turn this align items to stretched stretch line item stretch and for that it is no more vertically middle now so we want it in the middle how can we achieve this let's center the text as well So this is now a stretched flex box. We have to bring this text into middle. And our two columns have same equal height. So as you can see, if I add another paragraph, so it is like this now. So the solution for making this content in the middle vertically middle would be to introduce another div inside column let's use a class named as inner copy this and these two paragraphs will go inside the inner and this column will also have got that div with class inner let's see so we have got our class inner so now we have got inner glass inside the flex column so let's turn this inner into a flex as well and let's use a line items center And as you can see, these two paragraphs uh, orientation has changed. That is because if we use it like this, now this is also a flex, so we will have to use a div and we will have to move these two elements inside the div. And now it is all right. And also, let's use justify content center. So, and now we can remove justify content center from the flex raw because we have used it in for the inner. and then we'll have to just use the height 100 percent and 
as you can see that now the content for the columns is perfectly in the middle and now we can safely introduce more content for any block or any column and it will adjust accordingly so this is our inner with height 100 percent and then there is column and this is the raw and here is our flex box so one thing to note that if uh, this is flex raw we used display flex whenever you use display flex divs inside it turn to columns for that flex box and then if we use another div inside a column and there are multiple elements inside it we'll have to wrap those all elements inside another element such as div an ideal way to keep the content in the middle vertically is to use an inner is to use an inner uh, element or any div with 100% height this content and that is also the uh, display flex with 100% height and our main draw will be stretched align items stretched in instead of align item center flex row display flex and align items stretched align items stretch and flex call uh, and then inner that will be the display flex and align items center justify content center with the height 100 percent That's it for me guys. I hope you liked this video. If I missed anything or you have something to add, you can comment down below. Ask questions related to this topic. If you haven't already subscribed, subscribe to this channel and hit bell icon to receive updates. Join us on social media. Links are in the description below. Stay tuned for more updates. I will see you in the next video.